What is happening guys? Mike here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are revisiting the brand Jack Henry. You guys might remember them from the clay pomade review that I did a while back. That one had a lot of people talking about it. It had a lot of people conversing about all different types of stuff, not just the clay pomade. They were talking about price and premium brands and what constitute what price. There was a lot of great discussion that came from that video. And today we're going to be talking about their new products here and trust me you're gonna want to stick around for this one All right, so today we are taking a look at three new products from Jack Henry. Remember, this is an American brand. They're home brewers, very awesome folks. There's a lot of that information I went over in the last video. So if you haven't watched that on their clay pomade, go back, watch that, get all the info on this brand. But for those that haven't heard of them, they are, yes, an American brand. They homebrew all their stuff. They specialize in organic natural ingredients. And we knew that again from the clay pomade review. They are a little bit pricey their clay pomade is like 30 bucks or 32 bucks or something like that so they are pricey but some of you actually said you prefer the price based on the quality of the product that they made and the ingredients that were used so there was a lot of discussion around that so that actually was pretty cool for me to see myself and when they told me they came out with three new products here I was hundred percent interested I was jumped all the way in ready to take a look at these so today we do have their brand new spray bundle to look at which consists consists of spray deodorant, a spray face toner, and a hair refresh spray. And each one of these sprays is special based on its own characteristics and individual ingredient makeup. And obviously each one does something different. So the best thing to do here is to look at each one of them on its own. First up is the deodorant. So the new Jack Henry deodorant is a clean, refreshing deodorant spray that is reported to leave you feeling fresh and confident for the day. The ingredients honestly sound heavenly to me, they include artisan spring water, organic witch hazel, organic eucalyptus oil, organic bergamot oil, and again, organic lavender essential oil. Using this one's pretty straightforward. You spray it under your arms, about two to three pumps or so, and that's supposed to help keep the stank away. Moving on now though, to the face toner. This is an alcohol-free skin toner that according to the brand, refreshes and balances your complexion and leaving your skin with a clean matte finish. The ingredients on this one too are pretty short and sweet. They include artesian spring water, organic witch hazel, organic blood orange oil, and organic lavender essential oil. How this one works too is also pretty easy. You just spritz some onto your hand or directly onto your face if you want and just pat it evenly onto your skin. It's pretty easy. I'll be giving you my thoughts on how this and the rest of these worked in a minute, of course, but first we have one more product to look at real quick and that's the hair refresh. This is designed to be an on-the-go sea salt spray that's supposed to hydrate, nourish, and style. The brand also states that this is designed to add thickness, texture, and control as well. Once again, the ingredients are short and sweet on this one. They include artesian spring water again, Pacific Ocean sea salt, which is cool, organic wood hazel and organic lemon oil. Let's go ahead and kick off the demos here with the hair refresh too. I think that's the one I know I was most interested in anyway. And according to the brand, it's best to use this on clean blow dried hair that's fully dry. So that's what I'm doing here. The first thing I noticed was of course, it made my hair look a tiny bit wet again, just a smidge there. But as I move my hands around, I can see it absorbing quite quickly. So it's not wet. It doesn't make it, you know, oily or greasy or anything like that. It absorbs really nice into the hair. But but as I'm sure you can see, there's not quite as much texture as I'd hoped there, there was. There's really not nearly as much as I was hoping. And since this product offers no holding benefits, you know, by the usual sense that we're used to seeing with sprays of this type, it's really not controlling my thick, heavy hair at all. But remember, it is supposed to thicken it as well, so I can't really tell if it's doing that at all. My hair is pretty thick as it is. So I'll talk about this more in a minute, but here's the results that I got. Real quick too, while we're here, let's take a look at the face toner. This one worked a lot better and quicker for me. I just spritzed a bit onto my hand and pretty much right after I begin rubbing it in, I can feel it drying up and that nice matte finish on my face beginning to appear. And that's something I'm super excited about. I actually have some pretty oily skin. It's super annoying. So this is something that I really needed. And as you can see here, it seems to be actually working very well for me. Now, as far as the deodorant goes, if you're looking for an 
alternative to a generic stick deodorant or a body spray or something like that. This 100% meets every expectation that I could think of for that purpose. Let me rephrase that though. If you if you wanted an alternative to a spray deodorant, I think this works. For a stick, I usually use stick deodorant and I do think that this worked pretty well, but I don't know if it worked as well as my standard stick deodorant. So as like a cleansing body spray type thing, I think it worked great in that aspect. If you're okay with smelling like eucalyptus, that is. But I will tell you it is easy to mask with like a cologne or body spray. So if you're looking for something that's healthier to use as a deodorant, that absolutely fits the bill. Is this even the spray? This is the deodorant. Okay, I wanted to make sure I wasn't like pointing to the face toner and telling you about the deodorant. Speaking of the face, toner though that was probably my favorite out of all three of these if I'm being honest I think it was incredible it worked to clear up my oily skin and doesn't dry it out that's the biggest thing for me I've tried other products that you know leave your skin feeling you know matte that they say and I've seen it before but what I noticed is that my my skin would be really dry and you know especially down here on my chin I would start to get red red patches you know here and, and you know maybe around my nose and stuff like that but this didn't happen with that it actually made it feel less oily matte finish not greasy looking and it actually didn't dry my skin out or give me any you know red patches anywhere that's great I wish the hair refresh had that greater results for me but you you know, the, the face toner was awesome. Let's move over to that hair refresh though, since I mentioned that. As you guys saw, it didn't have quite enough to control my thick hair. I, I felt it present. I wanna make sure I present this correctly. I, I didn't just, you know, feel like nothing was there. I, it's really hard for me to, to, to show you guys what I feel in visual form. You actually, you know, actually, actually feel it. You actually have to feel it. And I did feel it in there, but it just wasn't enough for my thick hair. So in theory, if you have straight hair or finer hair than me, then this could potentially work better for you. And I also mentioned that thickness. I do think that it's somewhat there. My hair is already super thick to begin with. So, I mean, if you're going to make my hair look any thicker, it's going to be crazy. So I didn't expect it to, you know, change the way my hair looks and feels completely, but I did feel something going on there. And that's what I want to say. I don't, I didn't just feel nothing. I felt something going on there. I just don't think it was enough for my hair. And those of you are going to ask me, well, why didn't you just spray more? I have experimented with using more and more and more and more. And it, it, it just still isn't uh, enough for my hair. It, this one, I think just the formula is not enough for my thick hair. But again, I think for you guys with finer hair, thinner hair, some of you guys that struggle to get texture because your hair is so fine, so straight, I do think that's going to help you in that regard. I also found that this had a little like odd effect to it. It was something weird that I, I kind of stumbled upon to when I was testing it out. On one occasion, I decided to throw clay in my hair after I had just tried the spray for, you know, one of the times. You know, I was leaving my house. I needed to style real quick. I didn't want to walk out, you know, looking like I did with just the spray. And when I threw the clay in, I noticed that the salt, the salt from the spray, it actually made the clay drier, which then went on to bring out some additional texture in my hair and making the clay work a little better, a little drier. It kind of enhanced it, in other words. It was pretty awesome, I think. It's one of those weird things that just comes across totally by accident, and it only comes from testing products. That's one of the things that I love about doing this. You kind of discover little hidden gems there in a product that you may have disregarded, in other words. Pretty awesome, I'd say. It's something that I thought was definitely very cool, if you ask me. But as far as the prices go, it's pretty easy. All three of these come in four ounce bottles, nice big bottles, and they sell for $24 US a piece. Or you can get a three pack for $62 US, which actually saves you instantly 10 bucks on all three bottles. And in regards to that price, again, as we learned with the clay pomade video, which was a tiny bit unfair. I mean, people were mad at me that I even reviewed a product that cost 32 bucks. So I kind of thought that was dumb, if we're being honest here. That was that was dumb. They acted like I shouldn't have even looked at it because it was 32 bucks. But what I learned there was that price and value are completely subjective. Meaning to some people, the price is completely out of the question, but to others, they under, I just hit this. I thought I knocked it over. But to others, they understand that things like essential oils and organic 
organic ingredients are expensive. They cost money and they specifically want that and they're happy to pay for it. Personally, I see both sides of the debate here. I don't think anyone's wrong, unless of course you're just going to bash me for even talking about it. That would be both wrong and stupid, by the way. I think in the end, this is the beauty of being able to have the freedom to spend your money how you want. And so all I've done here is present to you my opinion. As always, it's up to you guys in the end to decide what you think. If it's too expensive, you don't want to do it, then don't. If you do like it and you want to check it out, you can do that as well. And you can follow the links in the description there. If you're interested, they're always there. And that's always how I present my videos. I also want to let you guys know too, that Jack Henry has given you guys, my subscribers an exclusive discount. So you can save even more on these products. That's also in the description there. If you're interested, that is it though for today's review. I want to thank you very much for stopping by and checking out these with me. Remember to like comment, all that good stuff. Subscribe. If you have not yet subscribed, it's right down there for you. And as always, take it easy. I'll see you next time.